and welcome back to the legend of zelda majora's mask for the nintendo gamecube all right my friends welcome back so we're at the great bay and we're playing as Mikau. we use the song of healing to heal him and now we're going to be heading over to the pirate's fortress to try and rescue the zora eggs there's actually four zora eggs in this place and i wish i was coming here with four bottles but unfortunately i'm only coming here with two i have not made this very easy for myself i have to admit um, but basically you want to go through the second panel over here. I've already destroyed it, but it's this one over here. And that will take you directly into the Pirate's Fortress. Now, I have come here with something that is going to help us out tremendously. But the first thing we need to do is basically get on that side over there. And there is a way of doing that. You basically just have to make sure that you get under this uh, little bit of lake here so they can't see you. Oh jeez, it's already night of the second day. Okay, I ain't got much time. I really should slow the time down. I'm playing a little bit cocky here, I think. But we should be okay. This place does not really take that long. But I probably will slow the time down just to be safe. Okay. Yeah, that's a little technique that Macau's got. You press R2 on the GameCube pad and it does like a little magic shield. Kind of protects you and uh, destroys enemies. Really useful, actually. Now underwater you can see the boats, one's just passed but there's another one coming round now and there looks, uh, is that another one there? There's another one there, yeah. And you're basically just waiting for a gap and when, when there's a gap you've then got the time to basically move and that's what I'm waiting for. This one seems to be the last one so I'm going to wait for this one to pass. Right, okay. <laughs> now once we've done that you want to make sure that you have the Goron Mask equipped for this. I don't think you would have made it this far without it, but there's a little switch over here that we can go on. So let's go ahead and equip our trusty Goron Mask. Kind of wish you could just get rid of the Zora Mask and replace it in the inventory, that would be a lot better, but oh well. First of all, we slam down on that, and that opens up a little gate underwater for us, which will permanently stay open, which is very handy. Okay, so let's see. Let's just get down there now. Okay. And this section of the game can be a little bit difficult. Um, not in the respect of it being really challenging, but it can be t uh, quite time consuming if you mess it up. So I'm going to try to do this the best way I can. It's basically just through this area here. There's a couple of water currents. And if you mess this section up, you basically get taken straight out into this lake bit again. And it, uh, it can be very time consuming and annoying, so... Hopefully we get a pretty good straight run on this. <laughs> I think these are friendly fish, so I don't need to destroy them with my laser shield, whatever this uh, thing is. <laughs> right, so first things first. You want to go ahead and grab this block and pull it towards us, because otherwise we're going to run into a bit of a blockage on the other side. So do that before you do anything else, and then basically destroy a couple more of these panels, which I find oddly satisfying for some reason. I don't know why. Getting some serious concussion there, though. I'm kind of going to need my IQ levels to get through this place probably, so let's try and keep it all together. And with this one, you just push it forward a little bit like that. And that's it, that's pretty much it. You just basically go around the circuit like this and then you're basically home free. There's a chest around there with like 20 rupees in it, that's optional of course if you want to grab that. I'm not going to bother, because I'm trying to play it safe here and avoid that current there. And the best way I know how to do that is avoid these mines underwater and just <laughs> just walk along the uh, surface of the floor here and you'll be fine. And we're going to do that again in a second actually because the other current is sort of in a different location and you kind of need to swim above the water if that makes sense. I'll, I'll explain shortly but there's these little floating mine type things and they do hurt quite a lot. <laughs> there's a chest down there actually, I didn't realise that. It's probably just got rupees in it. You don't really tend to find that much other stuff. But what I will grab while I'm here is something that I'm going to use Darunia for. No, not Darunia, what am I talking about? This is Darmani. This is Tamina. Getting too mixed up with the Ocarina of Time version of this freaked out universe. Oh, what are you doing? Get down there, quick. There we go. <laughs> the reason I use Darmani here is because uh, he's a little bit quicker. He can roll around a lot quicker, actually, and... Um, I don't know, it's just a lot better. Because they don't give you a lot of time for this door, it just really does close down very quickly. 
So next up we want to just destroy these annoying barrels that are in the way. And this is all stuff that we're doing before we actually get to uh, where we want to be to get the Zora eggs. We've still got a fair amount of stuff to do, which is kind of annoying, but you have to do this section of the game first before you can do anything else. So first of all, let's get down there quickly, and I knew that was going to happen. Screw you two, mine. There we go. Just in the nick of time. Oh, wait, 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 wait a minute. Wait a second. Okay, right. This is the one I was talking about. I tried to basically stay above the water there. Because as before, I was on the, you know, I was on the ground. Um, you don't need to do it here, so that's the way I've always got around that. Uh, I'm pretty sure that's probably the easiest way of doing it. I do think you are supposed to do it that way. Um, so I just stick to that, really. Um, oh yeah, of course. Yeah, I remember this annoyance. You go on the switch, <laughs> you go on here, and then you just basically activate the switch. Okay, there we go. Similar uh, puzzle mechanic to the puzzles that are in Ocarina of Time, especially in the water dungeon. And for the record, I am really not looking forward to that place, because I hate the water dungeon in this one. This is a very nasty water dungeon that we'll be encountering later on. The Great Bay Temple. I really do not like that place. <laughs> There's a telescope there if you want to look for it, that's completely up to you, but you don't actually have to. What we actually have to do is destroy the mines there, and sometimes they can trigger that switch down there, but they didn't this time. So we'll have to do it ourselves. No matter. Alright, we go through here, and basically what that does is it brings us to the outside part of the fortress, but we're still sort of near the boats and stuff. Um, this is kind of a little bit of a checkpoint for us as well, because once we enter this door around the corner here, if we get seen by one of the uh, Gerudos, they'll just throw us back to this point. So that's very, very handy. But luckily for us, I do actually um, have an item on me. This is going to make this, uh, this section of the game very easy, actually. It's the Stone Mask. And the Stone Mask is incredibly useful in this part of the game, because it allows you not to be seen. So I'm going to go ahead and equip that. Why the hell not? Let's put that on, and we now should technically speaking be invisible. As far as I know, we won't be able to be seen here. I'll just put it to the test. Yeah, as you can see, that we're not being seen. So what I'm actually going to do at this point, seeing as I'm wearing the mask now, I'm going to go ahead and use the pictograph box, and take a nice close-up shot of one of the Grudos. That might be a little bit close, I don't think it matters, but... That one will do nicely, and we're going to go ahead and keep that, because later on we're going to actually need a photo of uh, one of the Gerudos to make the next section of this game a little bit easier for us, but you don't actually have to do that. Um, <laughs> funny story actually, at the bottom of this ladder, if you're playing the 3DS version, um, that is where the soldier is that you need the Lens of Truth for to give the red potion to, so you can get the stone mask. Whereas in the uh, N64 slash GameCube version in this case, we can already get the stone mask as you see, so it makes this section of the game a lot easier for us, which is pretty cool. You can just waltz right past the uh, Gerudos, and the giant motherfucking hornets, that we're going to basically play with in a second. They've got a nice beefy nest right above their heads. That is going to be a joy to shoot down with an arrow. <laughs> And I forget some of these masks are actually a little bit creepy. I mean, look at that stone mask. That is really spooky looking through them bars there. But basically we're eavesdropping now. This is where we find out that there's only four of these Zora eggs located in the Pirate's Fortress. There's actually seven in total. And the other three, I think, are at Pinnacle Rock, I think it's called. So that's where we need to head after we get the four from here. Unfortunately, because I only have two bottles, I have to come back here twice. Um, that's a little bit tedious, but you know what, never mind, I'll just have to get on with it. Um, really and truthfully, you are supposed to have four at this point. There's six in the N64 slash GameCube version, and there's actually an extra bottle in the 3DS version, so they added an extra bottle. I think that's pretty cool. I think they know, actually, I think Nintendo know that it was quite a difficult game to get the bottles in. I think one of the hardest bottles in this game to get is probably, um, oh man, I, I'm trying to remember one of the uh, bottles that you have to get. There's a couple, but yeah. Basically then, let's see. We need to shoot down that nest somehow, so let's go ahead and do that. 
I remember correctly, you should just be able to access it from here. There we go. Shoot that down. Nice. <laughs> and now we have severely pissed off the wasps. Yep. Yeah, they're not very happy. Them things can sting for days. I got really tripped out just for a second actually. I came around this corner to jump down there, but I realised that there isn't actually a way for me to do so because it's not really there. That's actually in the 3DS version. They opened up that area so you can get down there. Jeez, I remember now. It's all coming back to me. We actually have to go down there from up here, if I remember correctly. Because there's a door just there, isn't there? Yes. Bit silly, but you know what? That's just what we have to do. So in here, you'll notice that there's a tank in this room with a Zora egg in it. And I'm looking forward to getting that right after I get this pretty cool item as well. This has been carried over from the Ocarina of Time universe into the Land of Tamina. It is the Hookshot. Fully upgraded as well, so it's ready to be used in its longest form. So we can just Hookshot to our heart's content. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to go all the way up to the top here. There's a convenient wooden plank just there for us. And whilst I'm up here, I'm just going to quickly get the Zora mask. And we're just going to go ahead and equip that. And I'm going to replace the stone mask with one of our empty bottles. Because I'm just going to pretty much just grab that egg and get out of here now. I'm not really too fussed about the enemy. I just came for these bad boys. Or bad girls, they haven't actually hatched yet, so I don't know what their gender is. There's some pretty weird looking potions over here though. Don't know what kind of shit they're conducting, con uh, conducting in this room. But we probably should um, switch back to Stone Mask Link. Yes, yes, that would probably be safer. <laughs> I love this mask, it's such a handy mask. And there's some creepy... Uh, creatures that we encounter later on in this game. Um, I can't remember what they're actually called, but they look very weird. Um, a lot of stuff actually in this game looks weird, but they're like Gorons hunched over, and they've got like this really weird, daunted expression in their eyes, where well, you can actually use the stone mask on them and they will not attack you. They will actually leave you be, so that's actually a nice thing. All right, we're gonna go ahead and get ourselves another Zora Egg. I'm going to do it in this order, I think. I've, I've kind of got it down the way I want to do this. There's another one in here. Yeah, there's a Gerudo in here. I don't really care about that. I'll just go right past her. Uh, thank you, camera, but it doesn't really matter. In fact, I'm going to go right past her. Hey, how's it doing? <laughs> How you doing? How's it going? So the bars come down. And I'm curious, actually. She can see me, can't she? Alright. Okay. So you can actually see me, can you? Alright. Interesting. Can't pull the wall over your eyes, clearly. What a stone. Ooh. Air shots. I don't like that. Right. Jeez, will you just give up already? I'm sure they made the amount of hits... Uh, they Well, wow, they definitely made the hits less for the 3DS version. Jeez, Louise, are you kidding me? It's like four hits in the 3DS version. I've hit it like ten times now. <laughs> we have to do this like two or three times as well. It's taken a chunk out of my health. I should have saved that milk. Oh, well. There is the second one. And there's another annoying clam that I think they removed also in the 3DS version. I forget, they make the uh, 3DS version of this so much easier. It's insane. Right, we're seriously running out of time here. Why haven't I switched the time back? Why haven't I made it slower at least? Um, let's get the... Yes, let's do that. That's probably a good idea. Why am I still wearing the... Take off the damn mask, you fool. <laughs> right, let's get rid of that. There we go. Right, I just want the... I just want the egg, man. Not the egg man from Sonic, just the egg. There we go, right, that's two, that is two down. I'm gonna go ahead and get the hell out of this place now. <laughs> I love the way the bell sounds so weird and distorted underwater. I like the fact that they added that. That's a nice effect. So I just basically wanna get back outside now. 
And let's see, I just want to um, play the Song of Soaring. So what is, how does that go again? The Song of Soaring is down left up. Okay, it's nice and simple for us. And I'm basically going to travel back to the Great Bay. It's, uh, it's a lot quicker. And now that we have the hook shot, we can get back in here nice and easy. Right, okay, I wish I had four bottles for this because that would make this whole procedure a ton easier. And I've got to go back to the Pinnacle Rock twice, that's very tedious. So what I might do actually is I might uh, cut back to the Pirate's Fortress. This is the time, oh, jeez, this is dawn of the final day, I have to do something with the time now. I seriously have to do something with the time, this is ridiculous. Um, right, let's make the time slower, shall we? Song of Time is right A down. Okay, so that's going to be down A right. How does this go? Down A right, down A right. There it is. Okay, this is such a weird song to try and remember. But what that does for us is it makes our life a little bit easier. It's the inverted Song of Time, which slows the time down for us, which kind of gives us a little bit more time to work with, because as you saw there, time is going very actually uh, quick for us, so we need a bit more of it on our side, so we need to come into this door here, takes us into this little research lab, and there's a ladder here for us to climb, because there's a giant fish tank here that we need to basically drop the Zora eggs into, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to get those ready, and you can just drop them into the tank from up here. How the heck did that egg fit inside that jar? I'll, I'll never know. I will never know. I'm pretty sure they're going to be deformed when they're born. I'm, I have no idea. Alright. <sighs> okay. I don't like this section of the game, but not nearly as much as I'm not going to like the Great Bay Temple. That place sucks. Major dong. Now, <laughs> these fish in here, by the way, if you get up onto the top of that one, you can drop a live fish into that tank and they will eat it and they will grow in size, and then if you keep on doing it, um, you'll actually find that one of the fish in there will actually eat the larger fish. <laughs> It'll be like a supremely huge fish, and I think you get a piece of heart for doing that. It's a very random thing to do, um, but it is pretty cool. I have to admit, it's a very random thing that you can encounter in this game as well. Um, I probably will just continue playing, actually, because we're not doing too bad for time, and I do have a quicker way of getting into the Pirate's Fortress now. Not only because of the Stone Mask, but because we've got the Hookshot on our side now as well, so... That's going to be a lot easier, because we can skip a big section of the part that we had to do before. Um, so I'm not too worried about wasting loads of time here now. We don't have to do what I did at the start with the Water Current and all that stuff. That's None of that is even going to come our way anymore. We can just skip all of that. But what we are going to have to do is probably get onto the other side again because I don't think it counts in this version. No, it doesn't. Damn you, N64 version. You suck. There's basically there's a platform halfway in front of us that we can get to with the hook shot. I can't see it from here, so I'm guessing it's not in this version of the game. But never mind. We'll just have to get on with it, won't we? But it's okay. We can skip all of this now. It's, it's a lot easier for us. I hope we can, anyway. A big part of what I remember is based on the 3DS version, so I'm kind of hoping that some of the stuff that I say is actually true in accordance to that. <laughs> Alright. Stay still a minute. We're not safe yet. Gotta wait for these annoying boats to go. You know, I can't put the stone mask on underwater. Not while I'm wearing this, I don't think so. Let's just wait for these annoying boats to go. Ah, jeez, it's already dawn of the final day. This is very unsettling for me. Because I basically, I've got to go over to Pinnacle Rock yet. And the reason I've taken a picture of one of the Gerudos is because there's a guy on the island that really likes the Gerudos. And he would love a photo of them. So, um, yeah, he helps us out by giving us a seahorse that gives us directions to Pinnacle Rock. And you can get an extra piece of heart for helping the seahorse out as well. So that's pretty much worth doing. And thankfully, yep, my <laughs> my knowledge on the N64 version is correct. There is actually a little grabbable panel there for us to hook shot over to. So now we're on this side again, which saves us all the aggro of having to go underwater and do all that shiz that we did before. So very nice. 
Now let's go ahead and get the last two Zora eggs. Well, in this place anyway. There are another th uh, three that we've got to do, but anyway, let's go and grab those. I know where they are, which is very handy because we don't have much time, as you can see. I am freaking out so much about that. <sighs> so where we want to go first is straight through here. I really do actually recommend that you get the stone mask because look at this. I mean, this is just craziness, isn't it? You can just stand right in front of her, just run around in circles and do whatever else. I'm going to try not to actually touch her though, because if you do, I don't know if that counts as being detected. I mean, this one detects us for some reason, and I'm not exactly sure why. <laughs> we aren't fooled by that mask. Really? Well, the rest of your crew seems to be. Alright, we're doing this again, are we? Alright. I'm going to have to be extremely careful here, because... I didn't realise that these guys take too many hits. And they do pack a punch, as you can see. I think it's like half a heart for every hit they do. It's not fun. Oh jeez Louise, go away. I'm quick, but she's very quick at dodging, so it's not very good. I have to wait for the right moment to hit. I've had to be so stealthy around this place, not to be detected. I'd hate to mess it up just by losing to one Gerudo. Okay, right, that's, uh, that is two down. I think we actually have another... Uh, yeah, we have a, one more to deal with now, so... Oh boy, okay. Yep, always go towards the torches. That's how I remember this. Yep, there's a piranha in there. That's not fun. Please tell me there's some hearts in this room. There is, and some arrows. Okay, good, I'll take all of those. Oh, all of those hearts. Nom nom nom. Okay. Oh, jeez, look at that. That's ridiculous, isn't it? Right, Zora mask time. There you go. It's the best thing in the world. I absolutely love that. <laughs> okay, right. Zora egg number three. Let's go ahead and grab that. Thank you very much. And whilst I'm here, I don't know what's in this chest. Let's just go ahead and open it anyway. It's only 20 rupees, but it was there and I'm going to get it. So let's go and get the fourth and final one now and get the heck out of this place, because I do not like it. Alright. Uh, where are we? We're on this side here, so... Yes. We're in a... Yeah, we're in the right place. We're in the right place, that's good, okay. I'm trying to get my bearings. This place isn't actually that big. The Gerudo area, the, where you have to sneak around the guards in Ocarina of Time, that's actually uh, bigger than this place. There isn't that many doors that you can actually go into. I mean, the layout in this place is pretty... I don't know, it seems pretty big, but it's not. You know what I mean? It's its just kind of... deceiving, to put it simply. Hey, look, the sun. Beautiful day. Oh, jeez. Doesn't that just wreck your day? Wrecks your day so much you want to kill someone. <laughs> okay. Yeah, 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 screw you guys too. I'm going to set off one of these cannons and blow your place to smithereens. Actually, what is in that golden chest? I'm just hoping they're not going to detect me because I did that. Oh, it's a silver rupee. Okay, that's pretty cool. Okay, I... I I did actually make contact there. I don't think that you can get detected if, even if you do that, so... Alright, one more annoying Gerudo to deal with. We are at full health, so this should be okay. And let's go ahead and just defeat this last one, then. That kind of sounded like two attacks there. If that was, that's pretty cool. I don't know how that worked. Thing is, I don't know if these guys have got a, uh, a capture shot, you know what I mean? Like, if they if they do enough damage, they knock you over, and like in the Ocarina of Time version, they kind of arrest you. I don't know if they can stun you and throw you out of this place. If so, I've been a little bit careless. And I probably should take this a little bit more seriously, because if I do get f knocked on my ass, um, that's going to be really unfortunate, because I'm going to have to come all the way back here again. It's not a big deal, I have the stone mask. It's literally my trump card here. Okay. There we go. Oh boy, this is a really weird room. It's completely darkened for some reason. 
All right, last one. Another annoying clam. More helpful arrows, more hearts that I can eat. All right. Oh yeah, you can't use the hook shots as or I forget. All right, let's go ahead and just get that last one then. Okay, so last one, and we're out of this place for good. I'm very happy about that. Dude, will you leave me alone? I can understand why I got rid of some of you in the uh, 3DS version. All right, that is it. I'm getting out of this place now. I've had enough. <laughs> Screw you, Clam. You can spend the rest of your life in that filthy tank. All right. No Wilson for you. This is my Wilson. All right. Where's my trusty guitar then? Keep on forgetting the music. Ah, jeez, what is wrong with me? Down, left, up. <laughs> so terrible when it comes to remembering songs in this game for some reason, and yet I do actually have a very good memory. I can remember codes and phone numbers and, you know, all that kind of stuff, but... For some reason, songs in this game do confuse me sometimes, especially the inverted ones and stuff like that. It's very confusing for me at times. <sighs> Alright. I'm probably going to be calling an episode here. I'm just going to get rid of these eggs real quick, and then uh, in the next episode we're going to go and rescue the seahorse from uh, that guy's shop on the other side of that bit of sea there. There's actually a shop over there with a guy in it, and he... He's got, I think, a pet seahorse in there that we can use to navigate us to Pinnacle Rock. I might as well do that. And it's actually a lot easier. What are you doing? I was going to say, I'm standing on top of the tank. Do something with it. Just look at it. <laughs> I mean, that's why I took a picture of the Gerudos, because you can pretty much get a nice clean shot without having to worry about being detected, because, of course, I've got the stone mask, so... I don't have to worry too much about being seen and stuff like that, so it just makes our life a little bit easier. I mean, you can actually get to Pinnacle Rock without the navigating seahorse. Um, there is actually a route that you can take if you remember it off by heart or just get a guide up for it. It's completely up to you, but I don't know. I just find the seahorse a little bit easier because I don't have to remember all that stuff. I've got a seahorse to do it for me. But I'm going to be calling it an episode here. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the episode and you'll join me in the, in the next episode when we go and rescue the last three Zora eggs and learn the new song so we can get into the Great Bay Temple, destroy it, destroy the boss, and just, I don't know, we'll probably go to day one actually before we do that. I just need the song to get us into the temple, but yeah. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed this episode and you'll join me in the next one. Alright guys, so thanks for watching and I'll see you all next time. Take care.